Hi, welcome to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Rallyman GT from Holy Grail Games, designed by Jean Christophe Bouvier and Luc Mousy, who I've sorry if I've butchered your names, uh, but I'm just a stupid American. So, anyway, this is a revisioning, not necessarily a reprint. It derives from the original Rallyman, which has been out in four editions, including some hard to get expansions like Dirt. So this re-envisions that. It's the same kind of system with some changes. There are a lot of people who still own both. Uh, a lot of people say this is better. A lot of people say the old one's better. I don't know. All I know is we're gonna look and see what you get inside. Rallyman GT is the retail copy. So let's take a look. It is solo friendly. It is one to six players. It is not a solo only, obviously. So says it'll play in about 60 minutes. One thing they've changed, I know, and we'll see that in a minute, is they went from a, um, I like the artwork on it. They went from a board-based uh, system to a hex tile system, kind of like in uh, Fallout, something like that, where you, you, know, you lay out the tiles to make your map. So that's kind of cool. You get a rule book. You get a horrible rule book. And I've not even read it yet. Horrible in that it is the size of the box. Come on, people. Don't need to be flopping a rule book around when you're trying to play a game. Take this, make it normal sized. So, anyway, nothing I can do about that. So, the, this is a rule book you get. It's full color. Nice artwork. I do like the, the uh, art style on it. Big print, and if it's like the other one, it may be that it's in multiple languages. So let's take a quick peek here. No, it is not. This, whereas the other one was a normal sized rule book that had like four pages for each language and it had like 1800 different languages in it. This appears to be a rule book for English. So I'm sure there's other versions of the game. So um, tells you what all your components are gonna be. Tells you how to set up tracks, and this may have scenarios in it, which is why it's like predefined races and stuff. So uh, that's obviously rules. Not big print, a lot of white space. Tells you how to play the solo mode. Uh, I wonder what's different about solo mode because it used to be you could play, you just play because each player was kind of multiplayer solo anyway. So it'll be interesting to see. Solo mode score sheet. I guess it's like a campaign you're playing over several different. Tracks, oh here they are. Here are the different track layouts. Track one, track two, track three. Tells you what tiles to set up. So I like I like this. Because it used to be you had to put boards and the boards would go, the tracks would go off the boards in different angles. So you might have a, a full board that only had a corner that you're using. So you're setting up these boards to get a track. So this makes a little more sense, I think. Alright, so we do have looks like eight eight tracks listed. Um well, we have eight tracks listed. And there's a little click between each track. Sorry, bad 70s reference. Um, but it says there's 12 tracks. Maybe there were some included in an expansion. Maybe that's what I'm missing. So anyway, rule book, full color. All right, we have a drawstring bag, the Rallyman GT logo on it. That is too small for my hand, but I guess I can maybe get fingers in there and pull something out. All right, we have little racy cars. We've got six, we'll play up to six players. Each one has his car in different color. All right, and then let's see, we've got the dice. Dice are the heart of this game. There's the different gears. When you roll, you generate different gears um, that you can use to switch and so on and so forth. So, uh, so you got a fifth gear. And we got sixth gear. I assume it's not ninth gear because that would be a heck of a jump. And then one, two, three, four. So you're going to roll those and you got brakes and tires and damage. And I don't recognize the red dice from before, but maybe I'm just missing something. So you get three red dice, two white dice, and six gear dice. Bag of bags for storing, and then your 
cards to, I assume, tell you different car types or your tire types. Obviously here, lots of different tire types. Give you the different effects, what they do, what gears you can use, so on and so forth. Like some have less damage, it seems like. They all have the gears. So these are the tires for this kind of car, GT6, because there's a GT6. GT6, there are all GT6s. I think one of the expansions includes a new type of car and some older cars, things like that. And then you have six uh, reference cards. Gaming aid, they call them. Cool. Kind of large size. I don't think you need to sleeve them because I don't think you're shuffling them or doing anything with them. Anyway, and then we've got a lot of cardboard here. So let's dig in. See if we can get it out. Lots of sheets of cardboard here. Very heavy. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sheets of cardboard. Card stock, punch board, whatever you're gonna call them. So most of it's gonna be these uh, uh, map tiles. They punch very cleanly. They're nice, nice size. Uh, looking at the at the setup, I thought they were gonna be a little smaller, um, but they're pretty big. Pretty sturdy. Various flags, uh, markers, things like that. Um, so, so you've got tiles, tiles, tiles. So looks like some dice subtraction markers, some blank markers. Make up your own. So it looks like eight of these are all going to have four tiles each. So you're going to have about 32 racing tiles or map tiles, and they are double sided. So you got different layouts and they're clearly marked. Look, this is 103A and this is 103B. So when it tells you how to set it up, you can refer to those numbers, which is a nice feature. And then here we've got some more of these like energy lightning bolt tokens and six sets of uh, I guess score tokens possibly for uh, the players. Those are in each of the different colors and then some weather tokens. So. Nine punch boards, eight of them for tiles, uh, one of them for markers. I'll look what those up are in a second. So if you buy the retail version of Rally Man GT, you get the nine punch boards. You're gonna get six plastic cars. So various uh, tire and card cards, car cards, and gaming aids. Uh, six and five is 11 dice, a bag. A bag of bags and then the rule book and we'll just look real quick to see what those are those are gear markers there are 48 of them so there's eight per player so anyway that is what's going to be in that box rally man gt from holy grail games heavy box thanks so much for watching god bless you have a great day bye bye oh.